Pictures from the Vatican tonight after an historic day that ended with two popes elevated to sainthood. And in another historic event, two living popes presided over that ceremony. Pope Francis hugging Pope Benedict before Mass. Many say that Pope Francis' decision to elevate two popes, one beloved by liberal Catholics, the other by more conservative Catholics, shows how eager he is to bring everyone in the church together. WBZ's Paula Evan has been in Vatican City all weekend and has the latest for us tonight. The streets were packed. The numbers were overwhelming for this historic event. But perhaps the biggest surprise of this canonization came in something Pope Francis had to say in his homily. In the eternal city, a day of firsts. First time two popes were canonized in one ceremony. First retired pope joining the reigning pope in elevating their predecessors to sainthood. For pilgrims from Massachusetts, whose cardinal Sean O'Malley played a part, it was a trip of spiritual necessity. I felt truly blessed to be here. I felt truly blessed. The excitement, the singing, just the jubilation in the crowd was unbelievable. It's just kind of a, a closeness and everybody loves Francis. I love Pope Francis. I think he is absolutely a breath of fresh air. And from the man at the center of the Catholic universe, what could be another first, or perhaps an open door. Father, there was a surprise in Pope Francis's sermon. There was. At the end of the sermon, the Pope invoked the two new saints and said that he hoped that their teaching would be remembered during this, the upcoming Synod of Bishops, which is dealing with the family. So you interpret this to mean he was referring to divorced Catholics? To divorced and remarried Catholics, yes. Headlines screamed last week. Francis had made one of his famous phone calls to a divorced woman in Argentina, allegedly telling her she was welcome to once again receive communion. To theologian Father Bob Dodaro, there can be no denying the timing or connection to this mega canonization. That conversation was private, but I think it's symbolic of his desire, as I say, to bring this issue. It could be on the table. I certainly think it is. It was a day to consecrate two monumental lives. A majestic day in an institution steeped in history with a new leader whose surprises show it's still capable of firsts. Luckily, the rain held off for the day here in Rome. And after the canonization, pilgrims streamed into St. Peter's Basilica to begin praying to their new saints, Pope St. John XXIII and Pope St. John Paul II. From the Vatican, Paula Eben, WBZ News. Paula, thank you. Right after the ceremony today, the door to St. Peter's opened, allowing pilgrims to see the tombs of both saints.